So, for a while now, I've been meaning to take a look at Walmart's on-brand gaming mouse. A premium feel with premium features for under $20. But when I attempted to do so, every Walmart around me was sold out for 30 miles. So how did I get my hand on one? Well, it's actually pretty easy. I'll, I'll do it again quick if you wanna see it. So since I wasn't able to find anything locally, and when I went on Walmart's website and input my stores near me, everything is sold out, I guess I just decided to take matters into my own hands. It's really simple as this. I just... Just took it. I just took it. Can you guys do that? Can you guys do that? Uh, me? No, no, I, I can't do that, man. That's, that's weird. What? No, that's, that's weird, dude. Yeah, that, that's really weird. It's, it's right here. I mean, it's right, just did that. I mean, I guess we might as well review it now. So uh, let's check out the on RGB gaming mouse. So Walmart's on-brand gaming mouse falls into the under $20 bracket, which is a really good price for the performance that you get out of this mouse. Now, I'm gonna be comparing it to a couple other tier mice that I have. So this will be the low tier at under $20. We have the SteelSeries Rival 300, which comes in at $50. And then we have the Razer Death Adder V2, which is currently selling for $79.99. Now, there are some features for all of them that you know separate them and then there's you know razor which is a little more expensive just for the name brand but uh that's just how it goes so let's break down the basics of the mouse and what it offers similar to all gaming mice nowadays it features a six foot braided cord it feels great and it gives me a perfect amount of slack when i'm playing fps games and i need enough to flick my wrist as you'll see later in the video i'm a professional at as for the feet of the mouse they look and feel to the touch the same as the other three tiers, but I'll show you just based on the sound that it takes a little bit more effort and you can tell that it's a little bit more grippy. Now this isn't a huge deal, but it definitely feels like it grips a tiny bit more than the rest of the mice. And when you're used to a mouse that has really glidey, is that a word? Is that an adjective? Glidey feet? It feels like it takes a little more force to actually move the mouse around. Definitely not a deal breaker, but if you're used to a lightweight mouse, then this is not what you're getting. Speaking of weight, this mouse does feel a little bit heavier. It is not meant to be in the lightweight category, but that being said, it's not ridiculously heavy. Comparing it to my Steel Series, it is a little bit heavier than that. And comparing it to the Death Adder V2, well, the Death Adder V2 is pretty much a lightweight mouse, minus all the honeycomb pattern. This thing is awesome, but it is in that premium tier price bracket. So just like the other mice, the on-brand gaming mouse has side anti-slip rubber grips, and they feel really nice. I mean, they're really grippy, they're not slippery, and when I was playing CSGO, playing Valorant, it never got too sweaty for me anyway, and it didn't ever feel like it was starting to slip. It compares the same to these other ones. It's a feature that is pretty much guaranteed on all gaming mice now, and if it didn't have it, then I would be worried. Another awesome feature of this mouse is the RGB itself, the mouse wheel and the line around the whole thing. You're able to choose from 16.8 million RGB colors with LED lighting effects. You can either do it on the mouse itself, or you can go into the software that's provided and you can then customize a lot more from in there, but it does have like seven or eight standard modes straight from the mouse, and I think they look pretty cool. The one that appeals to me the most is the RGB one, where it's just cycling through at like a rainbow color effect, 
similar to what most people run on their fans. It also features a DPI button right on the mouse, a standard feature for most gaming mice, again, which lets you go from 200 to 7200 DPI. So if you really like to flick the wrist a lot, you know, you can go to that high sense here. If you're more of like a, a, a arm aimer and you want that lower sensitivity, then you can just click the button and cycle through all the different DPIs that it lets you. We're gonna check the flick of the wrist here. I probably should have warmed up. You know, I'm honestly probably gonna get dominated, but this is a great, oh my Lord, give me a break kids. Quit sweating so hard, this DM server. So, uh, we got the mouse, you know, we got the Sensi on about 4,000. We gotta test it out, see if we can even get a kill with it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games. Oh, he dead, he's dead. Oh, where you at? He can't even see me, bro, I'm moving too fast. So this is just my lack of aim, but it's not the mouse, but... My overall consensus is that... What, 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 look at that. What, 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 it feels great. So... Overall, how good is the on gaming mouse from Walmart? Is it worth the $19 price tag that comes along with it? Is it a premium mouse? It certainly feels like it. It might not last as long and it might not have as good of a reputation, especially since it's a Walmart brand mouse. But for $20, I would argue that you're gonna have a hard time finding a better mouse that fits ergonomically, really nice, has a lot of RGB features. It's overall just a good, decent gaming mouse for the price. I know how it goes when you're on a budget. You wanna spend as much of your overall budget into the PC itself, but you still have to have peripherals. So this is a great way to get a good gaming mouse and still being able to invest the most amount of your money into your gaming PC, which will make your overall gaming experience much better. That's where you wanna to try to put most of your money. It's into the actual hardware itself not into the peripherals. You don't want to go with junk peripherals, obviously, because this is how you interact with the game in the computer. It does matter, but this is a great option. So if you're interested in this mouse, I will link it down below in the description and go ahead and check it out. You might have to do the little trick, you know? I don't know if you can find it in stock where you're at. I'm in Wisconsin and this thing was extremely hard to track down. I did get lucky and I did drive too far for a Walmart gaming mouse. Don't worry about it. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more shenanigans. We'll see you next time. Peace.